episode of Sam Tries Cooking Spooky Edition. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Today, I will be returning to the unofficial Hocus Pocus cookbook to make chocolate covered finger of a man named Clark. Yum. <laughs> For this recipe, you're gonna need one box of graham crackers. That's right, you heard me, one whole box. Two cups of powdered sugar, one cup of salted butter, a full of a teaspoon of vanilla, two and a half cups of crunchy peanut butter, and one bag of chocolate chips. According to my book. The first thing you're gonna do is put all your graham crackers in a resealable bag. Then the book says to gently crush them with a mallet, leaving some big chunks. I don't have a mallet, so a rolling pin will have to do. Is that gentle? <laughs> now grease your pan, not with hangman's fat, but canola oil instead. Unless you have hangman's fat, then I guess go for it. Add your graham crackers, powdered sugar, butter, peanut butter, and last but not least, vanilla extract. A bowl or cauldron and mix with a spatula. This is semi reminding me of like mud puppies for those of you who live in the Midwest. This is not easy to mix. You really need a big bowl. I really could use a little magic right now. inefficient and mixing that <laughs> together and because my hands are so dirty I just jumped to the next step which is put it in your pan and press it down. I am pressing it with the spatula though because my hands were super dirty. I don't think I'll ever get the peanut butter out of my fingernails. <laughs> I've washed my hands like three times. Now the next step is to melt your chocolate. It says you can do this in a double boiler or you can do it in a glass bowl in the microwave. I'm actually just gonna heat mine on the stove because that's what I've always done if you've watched the show before. <laughs> then once it's melted, you pour it on top of your, I guess, fingers? Are these the fingers? Which, by the way, the mixture is really good. It is very close to a mud puppy. put on top of it. I just was expecting it to be a little more like um, liquid. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but we're gonna go ahead and put it on, I guess, and just kind of spread it out. So I'm fairly sure how the directions describe it is it's supposed to be very liquidy, so you just like pour it on top. It literally says pour. But mine is more cakey, so <laughs> I don't know what happened. I got semi-sweet chocolate chips. I don't know. If you know, let, tell me in the comments. <laughs> I love to learn. Well, uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it at it as is, I guess. I don't really, um, yeah, I don't know what happened. Anyway, you're supposed to cover this and then put it in the fridge for four hours. Maybe I just didn't let it melt long enough. That's possible, I'm not a very patient person. 
While that is chilling, let's go ahead and read the little comment. You're probably thinking, why would this spell book give us a recipe for candy? Actually, I wasn't thinking that, but okay. <laughs> While Clark bars are no longer common, they are infinitely more delicious than a chocolate coated digit. I think the witches would disagree. <laughs> The exact texture of a Clark Bar's crispy peanut butter center is difficult to master, masters in quotations, <laughs> but this recipe gives you a similar experience with much less effort, so you can conserve all your strength for trying to outlive the dawn. I honestly don't remember Clark Bar's, and I think I was like three or four when this movie came out. I never had one. If you had one, let me know in the comments. I don't even remember what the packaging looked like for them. I know it's red and yellow because of the, the movie, but if you tried one, let me know. Did you like them? All right, it's been a little over four hours. I wanna say about five, so let's see how we did. Oh yeah, that is solid. I'm a little worried about cutting it. Getting out a big knife for this one. When it's completely chilled, cut into sections one to one and a half inches wide in the shape of a candy bar. I think I'm just gonna cut them brownie style. But maybe a little thinner. Oh, it actually is cutting. Hooray. I was a little worried. Okay, my slices are a little bit thicker than the finger. Um, I think I would have been able to cut it better if the chocolate had melted properly. But anyway, let's give it a try. <laughs> oh my goodness. Probably need to mix it better. I have like a huge chunk of like just butter right there. But the directions did say to leave like medium sized chunks, but I feel like maybe you needed to grind the graham cracker better. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's try it before it like melts away. Mm. I mean, it's chocolate, peanut butter, sugar, butter. Like, couldn't you really go wrong? I would make this recipe again, but do the thing that I said before. I would really smash those graham crackers. So I feel I wasn't able to incorporate the butter as well because of the larger chunks of graham cracker, but it is really good. Like chocolate peanut butter, can you really go wrong? Is it my favorite thing I've made from this cookbook yet? No. Would it be really pretty easy to make for a party? Yes. Does it taste like a dead man's finger? No. So I'll give it a nine out of 10. 9 out of 10. Easy to make, pretty decent. 9 out of 10, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this episode, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does mean so much to me. Also, if you feel so inclined, you could go into the description, hit my coffee, and send me a little treat. Happy spooky season. I will see you next time.